Hi, I'm Robert from Health News, and I test three of the most popular and arguably the best smart rings, so you won't have to. After wearing the Ultra Human Ring Air, Ringcon, and Circular Ring, I'm ready to reveal their pros and cons to you. Before we jump into the nuances, here's a heads up. If you decide to buy one of these wearables, scroll to the description box down below. We've got you special discounts for each of these smart rings. I'm going to begin this smart rings comparison with design because it's the first thing you'll notice. Plus, it's directly related to the comfort of wear. Let's start with the Ultra Human Air Ring. It's incredibly sleek. The ring is made of jet grade titanium, reinforced with a tungsten carbide carbon coating. It's very light and perhaps one of the most comfortable smart wearable rings. I also love the minimal and modern look. It's almost hard to distinguish it from regular jewelry. And it comes in five different colors, including the black mate, which I really love. So you'll surely be able to choose one that matches your style best. The Ultra Human Air has only one tiny bump inside. While this is great for comfort, it can be slightly tougher to position the smart wearable ring correctly. You always want your sensors to be on the palm side of the finger, so you'll have to pay some extra attention when wearing the Ultra Human Air. Our other contender is the Ringcon. It's slightly heavier than the Ultra Human Air Ring and feels much sturdier, which I think some of you may appreciate. There are three colors available, black, silver, and gold. The Ringcon ring has a very unique shape. Perfectly round on the inside, it's a little squared on the outside. Not only does this make it look unique, it also makes Ringcon move less around your finger while still feeling comfortable. Just as the Ultra Human, Ringcon is also made from titanium and it's corrosion resistant. If you like swimming in pools or other shallow water bodies, this will definitely be an advantage for you. Finally, let's head to the circular ring. It is the lightest of the three, although the difference between circular and Ultra Human Air wearables is minimal. However, the circular ring has a great medical grade, non-allergenic, non-metallic internal coating, which makes it comfortable to wear all day long. Keep in mind that for the outside, the circular ring uses aluminum alloy instead of titanium. While that may be the reason for the smaller weight, it could show more wear and tear over time, especially if you intend to wear it during workouts and while carrying things. The circular ring only comes in black. But here's a twist. If you get the Pro model, you can purchase an extra outer shell. It comes in silver, gold, rose gold, and quite oddly, black too. With the outer shell, you'll get to change the appearance of the ring while also protecting the device itself from scratches. While I'm definitely not one to deny the power of great design, in the case of the best smart rings, it's the health monitoring features that really matter. So let's see what we got here. The Ultra Human Air has six sensors. PPG measures heart rate and SpO2, which is a blood oxygen saturation. Then there is the medical grade skin temperature sensor as well as a motion sensor. It also has three LEDs, red, green, and infrared. They all work on heart rate measurements, while the red LED also evaluates oxygen saturation. Ultra Human will give you a pretty accurate overview of your sleep quality, but if you want more detailed insights, they're available too. Plus, it can help you better understand your circadian rhythm. What is truly unique about this ring is that it can give you advice about how to stay more active, which could potentially help to regulate your blood sugar levels. This way, you should experience less glucose spikes and enjoy more energy throughout the day. Ultra Human can give you such advice because they also make glucose monitors. This gives them lots of insights about blood sugar and how to regulate it. So it's really cool to see the company sharing them via the Ultra Human ring as well. Moving to Ringcon, it has a very similar features, the PPG and temperature sensors. For motion detection, it also uses an accelerator meter, a small device that senses when you stand up, walk, run, or make other movements. Ringcon focuses a lot on sleep health. 
So it gives you detailed insights into hours slept and spent in bed, stages of sleep, and overall quality of sleep. This ring will calculate your sleep score so you can see how many different routines affect the quality of your shut-eye. It's also worth noting that RingCon tracks your stress levels. Since it measures your heart rate, respiratory rate, and other vitals, it translates this data to understand how you feel and then guide you to relaxation. When it comes to the circular ring, you'll also get your sleep and activity tracking, as well as heart rate, blood oxygen, skin temperature, and breathing rate. That's pretty standard for smart rings now. But let's look at some of the more unique features of the circular ring. If you buy the vibrating version, you'll get a built-in alarm clock that will wake you up in your lightest sleep stage. It can also give you vital alerts and even remind you to take your meds or vitamins, which makes the circular ring a really holistic device. It's important to cover the accuracy of the data. And here's the thing, it's not gonna be perfect in either of these devices. These rings are designed to give you general guidance, but don't ever take it as medical advice. The accuracy will depend on a lot of factors, and you're a big one too. Choosing the right size and ensuring your smart wearable ring is positioned correctly are crucial. But we're all human, so as long as you take the results with a pinch of salt, you'll get lots of interesting and valuable data. And if the data you value most is your metabolic health, Ultra Human Air will be the best choice. On the other hand, if you're mostly focused on your sleep and stress levels, I would advise going for the Ring Kong. And if you're looking for a little bit of everything, such as tracking your sleep, stress, activity, and mood, then I'd go for the Circular Ring. Another very important aspect for all wearable health technology is its battery life. Raise your hand if you ever had your smartwatch die mid-workout. I certainly had, and it can get quite annoying, but it shouldn't happen with any of these wearables. Before I go into specifics, here is one thing to remember. The actual battery life will depend on your activity and how much monitoring you've got going on. Plus, other factors like the weather and firmware can also influence this. The Ultra Human Air battery will last up to six days, and it'll take up to three hours for the ring to charge. The charging dock is powered via the convenient Type-C cable. Meanwhile, RingCon has come up with a pretty cool charging solution, a separate charging case. So the ring itself will last you up to seven days, and the case has the capacity for 18 full charges. It'll take about 90 minutes to charge the ring. The case can also be charged via a USB-C Type-C cable. Finally, the circular ring will only last you up to five days, but it does have the smallest charger of them all, which I find the most appealing. Again, it has a USB-C connection, which means that you can plug it in, for example, directly into your laptop. A few more things you should know. First, the Ultra Human Air and RingCon have size-specific chargers, meaning you cannot charge your ring with a friend's charger unless your sizes match. The Circular's charger does suit all sizes. Also, the indicated battery life will downgrade with time. It's inevitable, even for the best smart rings. Generally, you should expect your smart ring to serve you for two years confidently. By this point, we've covered the rings themselves quite well, but the apps they come with are also hugely important. After all, that's where you'll be seeing the data. With the Ultra Human app, the first thing you'll notice upon opening it up will be your movement index. So it's really useful if you're tracking your activity. I like that. Right there, you will see recommendations tailored to your body and particular time of day. For example, it can remind you to get some sun in the morning, stop drinking coffee, and other stimulants in the afternoon, and so on. Ultra Human also has some additional sources, like guided meditation, mindfulness exercises, and various articles. While you could find all those online anyway, it's nice to have them right there in the app. What's really nice about this app is that on the home screen, it displays the overview of all statistics. And then if you tap into any particular section, you'll get lots of super detailed data. Overall, I'd say it's highly user-friendly and pretty detailed at the same time. And I really like this match of both worlds. RingCon, on the other hand, is clearly focused on the users who want to geek out. 
Immediately as you open the app, you'll see charts and graphs displaying various data. Plus, you can easily customize the data you see. Simply add the aspects you care most about to your favorites. While it does give you an overall score, say for your sleep of the night, it also allows you to dig deeper. While some apps will only display a general formula for the scope, Rincon will tell you how particular factors contributed to that score. These factors might be your breathing, temperature, heart rate, and so on. If you're looking for simplicity, Rincon might seem a little too complicated at first. Since it displays so much data, it will take some time for you to get used to finding the most important score. But once you're past that learning curve, I'm sure you'll enjoy it very much. With the circular ring, I must mention that it's the most recent of the bunch, so its app might seem a little rough around the edges. While the interface design preferences will vary from person to person, the data you can get will be pretty similar to the Rincon. Let's take sleep analysis as an example. First, you'll see an overall score. Then, you can delve into particulars like hours slept, disturbances, tranquility, REM sleep, and even the amount of time it took you to fall asleep. Underneath this, you've got informative graphs that display some of the same things I've just mentioned. But you can also get heart rate variations, breathing rate, SpO2, and more. As I've mentioned, the app is still pretty recent, so it still needs a little updating. For example, it can give an overly optimistic score in any of the sections. But if you look into more particular data, it's likely to match that from any of the other best smart rings. All of these apps are compatible with both iOS and Android phones. Plus, they will sync data from Apple Health and Google Fit, which is hugely important for the accuracy of the metrics. The time has come. We need to look at the price and value of each smart ring. The Ultra Human Air Ring is the priciest one, retailing at $349. But Ultra Human accepts certain models of older smart wearable rings for credit. So if you have one, don't forget to check this option to save some cash. Either way, it won't be a cheap gadget. But I think it's worth investing in it because of the ease of use and the amount of data it provides. Plus, it has a pretty strong brand name as it's the oldest of the three. Rincon comes at a slightly lower price, $279. It's a pretty good deal considering how robust the design is. While its app is slightly less user-friendly, it's up to you to decide if the good-looking software interface is worth the difference. Finally, the Circular Ring is just a few dollars cheaper. It retails at $275. However, it's the only company that comes from Europe. France in particular, so the shipping might take a little longer. Adding the ring of your choice to your cart already? I've got some great discounts for you. In particular, that's 10% off Ultra Human, 15% off Rincon, and 8% off Circular. Find the links and the discount codes in the description box below. So which smart ring should you get? The Ultra Human Air Ring will be the best smart ring for those who appreciate sleek design, look for advanced health monitoring, and are willing to pay a little extra for that premium look and feel, as well as comfort of wear. If you're a fan of robust design and want to delve really deep into your data, Rincon is likely to be the one for you. It'll also survive your workouts best, although neither of these wearables are fitness rings per se. They are much better at evaluating overall health. Finally, the circular ring is the best for those who are looking for a truly practical solution. Good price, sufficient data, and extra features like alarm and reminders. Plus, the slim design is really nice if you intend to wear your ring all day long. I hope this smart rings comparison will help you choose the smart ring that will suit your needs best. But don't stop here, subscribe to the Health News Channel to get all of the latest news about your health. And if you need more information about these rings, we've got separate reviews of each model in our channel too. Thanks, and see you soon.